Women drum line, you know. I was wondering if you weren't too busy sometime. If you wanted to maybe get some coffee sometime. One, two, three, four, let's get busy! Aren't you guys gonna... Shh. It's starting. Hey Whitman, I'm Max. And I'm Adam. And this is Whitman Shorts. Now I know what you're thinking. Who are these people? And what am I watching? Well, I'm Max. And I'm Adam. And this is Whitman Shorts. There's nothing to do these days. Well, here's something you could do. You could watch a segment about things to do. All right, Julia, take it away. Hit it, Julia. Hit it, Jules. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I'm Julia Frazier reporting for Whitman Shorts on fall activities. You can enjoy over 20 sculptures within the Hirshhorn Sculpture Garden and more at the National Sculpture Garden across the mall. You can even sit down to sketch or take photographs. Some pieces date back to the 1880s, while others are more modern. In the pit of the Sculpture Garden, you can visit the amazing Art Lab. We spoke with employee Cody Colthar about opportunities at the Art Lab. The Art Lab is a digital space for teens where they can come and learn different technologies. The Art Lab provides supplies and technology for illustration, 3D animation, music production, photography, and film. It's open Monday through Friday with open studio from 3 to 5 p.m. and artist studio classes from 5 to 7 p.m. The cost is very simple. It's absolutely free. Uh, it's, it's, there's no membership. There's no fees. There's, you just come in. It's a library, basically. Um, bring ID and you can uh, get registered and you can just use the space and check anything out that you want. Visit artlabplus.si.edu for more information. Prepare thyself for merriment and come down to the Renaissance Festival in Annapolis, Maryland. The festival features over 100 stands that host various types of products including jewelry, glass products, weaponry, leather, and games. We also talked with Captain Jack Sparrow. What do you think of the Renaissance Festival? Oh, I didn't know it was a festival. I just thought I was back at home. Do you think people should come and visit here? Yes, I think a lot of people should come and visit here, but most of them are wearing their undergarments. It's like they're almost nude because they should be wearing more clothes than what they're wearing. I mean, look at this man here. He's got shorts and a short shirt. It's not right. The festival will last through October 20th. Visit MarylandRenaissanceFestival.com for more information. So get off your couch and enjoy these activities and more. This has been Julia Frazier reporting for Whitman Shorts. Thanks, Julia. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. They're all different. And they're all the same. No. Now let's take a look at an in-depth analysis on this topic. Geez, where is everyone?
Cammy? Here. Jesse? Yeah. Here. Joe? Here! Here! This is definitely not Whittier Woods. Look both ways. You didn't put on your blinker? Put on your blinker next time? Sorry, Dad, I'll do it next time. Are you talking back to me? Jesus, just watch the road. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Look at the road, God Jesus. Sorry. Watch the squirrel, Jesus. Yes, I'm back at school. I can still make a period. You're gonna. Uh, how do they let you people drive? Yuck. Adam, what's on your mind? Uh, just thinking about how I'm gonna eat at the same restaurant again. Really? Well, you know. Michaela just did some research on off the beaten path restaurants. You mean not five guys? I don't mean five guys. Let's take a look. This is Michaela reporting for Whitman Shorts and this is off the beaten path restaurants. Are you sick of the middle school hotspots such as Five Guys, Sweet Green, and Kava? I know I am. So out with the old and in with the new. Let's take a walk on the not so beaten path. If you're looking for an 100% natural meal, come to Panas and Panadas on Elm Street for the best empanadas in town. Panas and Panadas is the perfect place to dine with friends as you can order empanadas by the dozen. The prices range from $7 to $22, which is a great deal. So next time you're craving an empanada, come out to Panas and Panadas for the best empanada of your life. This is Freddy's Lobster and Clams on Cordell Avenue. If you're looking for some good seafood, Freddy's is the place to go. From price ranges from $10 to $24, Freddy's makes for an affordable restaurant. Freddy's has a great sports bar with five flat screen TVs, making it the perfect place for entertainment while dining. Come here for the best seafood in town. So if none of these restaurants work for you, you can always stick with the Whitman Cafeteria. Boy, looking at all that food sure makes me hungry. In other news, you suck. Hey, that's bad sportsmanship. Good thing we have the Whitmaniacs around to keep us sportsmen-like. To keep us like sportsmen. Right. Oh, 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 oh. 
Fall sports are underway. It's also a new season for fans. Here's how we all can get involved. There's a Whitman group, Whitmaniacs group on Facebook. Just look it up. It's the Whitmaniacs 13 to 14, and we just post about football events, soccer events, upcoming winter events, baseball, basketball, and tailgates for football games. Usually, are posted in the group. It's really just a collaborative effort. Um, it's really fun. We start the chants and cheers at games, like Libby said. The football team really loves when we support them, and so do other sports teams, like soccer. It's just coming out and really having a good time and being a part of the school. Although fan enthusiasm is appreciated, Whitman's sportsmanship struggle last year. Yeah, dude, there he is. I've always been a big uh, sports fan. I, I lived in the bleachers. What is he eating? Dude, I, th I think it's buns. Just a bu yo, 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 yo. If this were the movie Bambi, you'd be the mom. That one also works for Finding Nemo. In number 42, you're slow as a snail. Salt the snail. Salt the snail. My enthusiasm had some strict consequences. I literally said nothing. But I learned how to keep my enthusiasm, but lose the negativity. My hands are high, my feet are low, and this is how I wiggle low. Wait, so you actually lived out there? Oh yeah, I used to. I mean, do you still? Yes. Wow, things got very real for that bad sportsman. You know what isn't real? The moon landing. That's for sure. Hey Max, did you hear the one about the sports player who walked into the bar? Yeah. Over to Short Center. Okay. Since Short Center graduated two seniors last year, and Adam Lowett thinks he's way too strong for us, I decided to hold a tryout for the other anchor spot. This is Short Center. Perfect, you got the job, man. Dude, Colin, my fantasy football team is just getting smoked. Dude, you know who's in my fantasies? Fa football teams? Zach Morton. Dude, we should look at some football highlights. Check it out. The Whitman football team has had a great start to the season going 2-1 and one, with a huge win last week over BCC. In the season opener, the Vikes rolled over Blake with a 28-0 victory with touchdowns from Nick Newsham, Zach Morton, and Evan Smith. After a tough loss to QO, the team bounced back to beat crosstown rival BCC 24 to nothing. Anton Casey and Zach Morton both had touchdowns, and Zach Snyder ended the day with 10 points. I talked to senior captain Zach Morton about the team's expectations for this season. Simply just to get to the playoffs. Um, we haven't been there since my freshman year. We're kind of just inching to get there. For the past two seasons, we just had mediocre 5-5 five five seasons, and we're really just trying to get into the playoffs again this year. The Viking defense held the opposing team to zero points for the second time this season. Come out and support the football team as they take on Wooten tonight, 6.30 at Wooten. Wear white and be loud. Wow, thanks Colin, that was awesome. Now we go to hockey, girls hockey. No, 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 field hockey. Oh, field hockey. Girls field hockey. Although the field hockey team's record is not stellar, 
They've had a bunch of close games and have played every team really tough. Let's take a look at some of their highlights. The Vikes have had three overtime games, including two 1-0 victories. I talked to senior Kate Goldberg to see what she had to say about the season. Um, a lot of stuff that's new this season. Uh, we have a new coach. Uh, for us seniors, it's our fourth coach in four years, so kind of used to change, but she just came from Goucher. She knows a lot about what she's doing, and she's incorporating a lot of um, new strategies into the game, including a press that's never been used by any high school in the county before, and we've been really successful with that. We have one of the best defenses in the county. Unfortunately, our offense is kind of weak because we have such a young team, but we're really hoping to have a winning a season, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, sophomore Rachel Berman has been really strong in the midfield and advancing the ball into the circle. Um, we have a really strong defense, we call it D-Money, Annie Ludwig, Marisa Guzman and Katie Chopin have been really solid, Jenna Cantor in the midfield as well. We've got a few really great games in front of us and we would love a lot of support from Whit Maniacs, so come out to our games. The girls are looking to make a pretty deep run in this year's state playoffs and they really would love your support. Their next game is Tuesday. Everybody should come out. Now we go to Joe Chesney for tennis. Girls tennis. Hi, my name is Joe Chesney, and I'll be taking an inside look at girls tennis. The girls tennis team had a good start to their season, winning their first four matches easily. I sat down with the new girls tennis coach, Jason Gaughan, to talk about his expectations for this season. I think we can uh, win all our matches. We got Camilla back, Nicole's playing great, Whitney and uh, Olivia both got better. So yeah, they stepped up and they got the four top uh, singles positions. Whitney Sincala is one of the girls tennis captains and she has high hopes for her team this season. I expect uh, undefeated. We have really good doubles teams that just stepped up. They're definitely going to help us in years to come. Come out and support the Lady Vikes tennis team at their away match at Northwest tomorrow. Go Whitman! The golf team is straight killing it, led by my boy A.B. Andrew Barth. Their next match is Monday at Northwest Park Golf Club, and I know they'd love a fan or two. Get in the hole! Pace yourself, Whitman. The cross country team is running this town. They're sprinting right into their next meet at RM on Thursday. Be there. Checka, checka, checka. The volleyball team has a game on Monday at 4.30 against WJ. It's gonna be a great game. Someone should go. All the Whitman sports teams have had a great start to the season. They're looking excellent out there. Too bad we can't cover them all. Until next time, Whitman. Hey, Adam. Welcome back. You excited for our next segment? Over to Briefs. Yo, wait. Where am I? Oh, I gotta do Briefs. Let's go. <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Finally back at Whitman. Uh-oh. Oh no. I gotta get back down. Ah! Oh, I'm back. Let's go. Apple released the iPhone 5C recently. It comes in a variety of colors with a hard plastic shell. Maybe I can finally get an iPhone that'll match my purse. Clubs night was last week, and if you missed it, you missed a great opportunity to write your name and email address down on thousands of pieces of paper. Now, there are tons of clubs at Whitman, everything from the Young Women's Filmmaking Club to the International Cooking Club, and you should at least pick up a club's brochure so you can learn everything you need to know about all of the opportunities to get involved. The Oxford English Dictionary recently added the words twerk, selfie, emoji, and jorts. I've already sent in my application to have Max Vogel added, and I'll let you know what they say. 
Researchers at the University of Washington had a breakthrough by connecting two human brains via the internet. Rajesh Rao recently sent a signal via a magnetic simulation coil to Andreas Stucco, forcing him to involuntarily move his right finger. So I've decided that rather than study from my multivariable calculus exam, I'll hook my brain up to a smarter student's brain via the internet. The Bill of Rights was written on this day in 1789. Until next time, Whitman. Over to Speaks. This is Whitman Speaks. <laughs> Campus. Mr. Easton, apparently. I think Scott's the big man on campus. He's got to be the tallest man on campus. There he is. Me. The big man on campus? Jorge! Wait, but my sister said he had a girlfriend in college. Hello. Uh, hi. Are you excited for football season? Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know how to wiggle out? What? I don't know what that is. Can I see your wiggle out? No. What's a wiggle -o? Hands up high, hands down low, this is how you wiggle <laughs> Why would I? Well, I could dance for all my Jorge! There, but you know, without my stuff, I ain't probably look so smooth. Can you tell me what you like about Whitman? Sorry, I know it's big English. Oh, okay. Hello! Are you a freshman? Yeah, I'm a freshman. Did you see any older girls you liked? Not really. Uh, Upperclassman crush? Definitely Alex Spear. You know, gonna be like, hello my fine ladies out there. Can you show me what you look like in the morning? And then, like that. Uh, instead of kind of like a... Must be, but it's like seven, eight and a half. What do you look like in the morning? Like a Sasquatch. I don't know. It's the nose. I got like a Facebook card. Yeah, I'm a freshman. I got videos every day. If you want to know every day. Can you tell me about your first week at Whitman? Um, it was very long. It Did long. anybody beat you up? No. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I'm a freshman. Do you have my money here? Can yes? I have no? Can I have the mic back? Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Well, that was the first episode of Whitman Shorts. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you watched it. I watched it. We all watched it. Thanks for watching.